All right, everyone, why soda cans are shaped differently in Hawaii. A lot of stuff going on in Hawaii it, it itself, guys. And, um, yeah, man, uh, it's not good news, unfortunately. But, yeah, this guy recommended to me from half as interesting, and, you know, they got some good content. So, let's check it out, guys. Hawaii, a land like no other. Tourists flock in by the millions to see massive volcanoes, special geese, and of course, the Hawaiian soda can shape you can't find anywhere else. Yeah, like why? Why? Only Hawaii guys, man? That's gonna like... Cost a lot to manufacture, bro. At least initially, right? They, they gotta produce a certain amount. I mean, they always gotta produce a certain amount, but you know, it just seems kinda... Just odd, bro. Like... What are they thinking here, man? <laughs> else in the world. But why does Hawaii have a soda can shape you can't find anywhere else in the world? Because it's one of the places that there's like... Man, Hawaii looks beautiful. I don't know, guys. Like, you know, there's islands and stuff. I mean, Japan's also an island, but... I, I have no, 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 no idea. The answer is simple. Because they can. Well, because... <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious? Because they're can cans can't i mean because they're cans can can guys would you go to hawaii for like a special hawaii soda just a just a just a soda guys <laughs> oh my gosh and different than never mind it, it's just economics the most obvious difference between Hawaiian cans and regular cans is the ridges around their neck, which are sort of like flourless lays for cans if you don't think about it too hard. But the most important difference here isn't the neck ridges at all, it's the diameter of the lid. A regular non Hawaiian As a Hawaiian can looks like a... That's what a beer would, would, would look like to me, guys. The Hawaiian can definitely looks like, like a beer kind of can to me. Hawaiian can lid has a diameter of two and one eighths inches, just over a thousandth the diameter of the Epcot golf ball. The flip is the Epcot. Hawaiian... Oh, is that Disneyland? Guys, that is such a random fact. That's a huge golf ball, but we got things cooler than that nowadays. We got the that thing in Vegas with, where it's just a bunch of screens. <laughs> the Epcot golf ball. But a Hawaiian lid is a whopping two and three eighths inches. Also, just over a thousandth the diameter of the Epcot golf ball, but critically a quarter inch bigger than the normal lids. The Hawaiian lids, known as 206s, were actually the industry standard for a while, having mostly run the gargantuan 211 lids out of town between 1987 and 19. Yeah, so they're actually uh, optimal, or they were the industry standard, but why didn't they switch over, guys? Come on. Like, because in the can biz, aluminum is money. And the aluminum in a can's lid. And it's recyclable. Hey, if it's recyclable, then it's it's cool. It's like I used to I used to go around and collect those recyclables as like a job, guys. Like legit, not even kidding, man. It is more than twice as thick and uses more than twice as much material as the rest of the can, making smaller lids a great way to cut your can manufacturing costs. Sure, you. Man, I thought there was gonna be like more liquid in there or something cool, guys. It's kind of lame, bro. Only save a shred of aluminum per can, but, but I, I want one. I want one just to like keep it inside the house or something, man. That'd be cool. But if you're manufacturing billions of cans a year, it adds up pretty quickly. Look at all and those just things. Just imagine what you could do with all that extra aluminum. You could make a cool bike or a smartest business guy trophy or, you know, a bunch more cans. But because humanity's greed knows. <laughs> he grabs some stock footage of this guy flexing some cold hard. Uh, fake cash. Okay. Hey. This is a guy with millions of views, not me. Uh. No bounds. The rest of the world didn't stop at the 206 lids. They kept shrinking the lids until they reached that nearly microscopic 202 size most of us enjoy today. But Hawaii never got the memo. Why? Surprise, it's economics again. Canned beverages comprise what economists call a weight gaining industry, and not just because of the physiological impact of sucking down Diet Coke like it's air. In this case, I'm good on Diet Coke. Uh, I, I, I've had this Diet Coke chilling in my fridge for like three weeks now, man. I haven't touched it, bro. Diet Coke is... I like regular Coke, guys. I don't even drink soda that much, especially soda with caffeine because I'm super sensitive to it, man.
Weight gaining means that as the product goes from raw materials to, well, product, it gets heavier. Which also means that right. as soda gets manufactured and packaged, it gets more and more expensive to transport. Up to 94% of the contents of a soda can is just carbonated water anyway. Guys, that, that's what I drink, is uh, like soda water, the carbonated water. Are you gonna pay to ship water to an island? Not if you want- Yeah, like sugar is super, super, you know, kind of deadly. I want a shot at that smartest business guy trophy. They're also ne ne necessity. The rest is like sugar. I'm not gonna lie, right, guys? Save on transport costs. Soda companies manufacture sugar and syrup and bottle their products relatively close to the point of sale. So wherever you buy your soda, it's probably not coming from that far away. If you're in New York City, for example, your Pepsi is likely coming from one of the three bottling plants within city limits. So like most other places, Hawaii soda is bottled locally. But because it's so remote, companies save on transport by using locally manufactured uh. cans too. And if you're looking. That's how they make it. So it's not even, they don't even put the cap on immediately to save some uh, like precious uh, carbonation. Man, that's why, that's why our sodas go flat so quick, guys. For Hawaiian made cans, look no further than the one can factory in the state, the Ball Corporation Metal Beverage Packaging Plant in Kapolei, Oahu. If you know the Ball Corporation, it's probably for- I don't. <laughs> those little mason jars you're oh yeah, I do actually. That's what I do. They got ball on them. For homemade jams in. But they also make about a quarter of the 180 billion cans manufactured worldwide every year. Yeah. Cans are a super high volume product, which means you can get economies of scale even at really, really big. Yeah, we still drinking out of cans like we're freaking 1950 or something. Were they produced in 1950? Big scale. We can only hope. The Hawaiian can market is large enough to support one high volume factory like the ball plants, but not a second. It's kind of a Goldilocks situation if Goldilocks had been looking to dominate the tropical can market rather than eat bear porridge. The Kapolei plant supplies bear, cans to everyone from Coca-Cola, which has a bottling plant just 30 minutes away, to Pepsi, Hawaiian Sun, and soon H. Oh, Hawaiian Sun looks good though. I never tried it. AI. We're using Ball Corp cans for our new small batch IPA hops as interesting. Are you serious? The plant makes about a <laughs> they're selling hops. A million cans every day, which isn't many in the grand scheme of beverage manufacturing. It would barely cover my own LaCroix habits. And while globally it pays... <laughs> oh snap, we both got a LaCroix habit, guys. Half it interesting if you're seeing this, we both got one. ...off to swap 206 lids for 202s. In a market as small and remote as Hawaii, changing all the equipment in the can factory... Oh man, they got a bunch of rocks there to block the waves, man. That's super, super smart, bro. I'd just be so scared living near a, uh, uh, the sea like that though, guys, right? Wouldn't you? ...as Hawaii, changing all the equipment in the can factory, not to mention the bottling plants, to suit the larger lid is just too expensive to be worth it. So, rather than invest in overhauling the entire archipelago's... Ocean's so beautiful though, man. I wouldn't mind living near the ocean. ...can infrastructure, Hawaii just sticks to the 206s. So, next time you're in Hawaii, crack into that giant lid and bask in all that extra aluminum. There's... That's a beer can. No better way to enjoy the hazy this drink does not actually exist because it's copyrighted by HIA. No rights reserved. Drink responsibly. Just not this drink because this drink doesn't exist. Of oh, I thought I thought he was gonna go ahead and produce this hops. Is it like the Happy Dad? That that came from a YouTuber, right, guys? That's interesting. Okay, so Pops is interesting isn't real, but if you want to support this channel and a ton of your other favorite creators, we have a very real, very great option for you, Nebula. Nebula is a streaming site my creator friends and I built, and it gives everyone a better deal. We get a bigger cut of the revenue, and you get early access to new videos with zero ads, and the exciting big budget exclusive originals your subscription pays for. Stuff like Polyphonic Magazine, where Polyphonic interviews some of the most Sorry, I do not know about Polyphonic Magazine, guys. Exciting musicians working today, or Abigail Thorne of Philosophy Tube's already award-winning, sword-fighting, Shakespeare-improving upcoming premiere The Prince, or Wendover's own Jet Like The Game, where you can watch my writers and I rate- Okay, that looks like a YouTuber, if I've ever seen a YouTuber. Go around the world and break it down post-game in our Nebula-exclusive after show, The Layover. Those, those all look like YouTuber thumbnails, guys, right? And if you use the link nebula.tv slash HII, all that will only cost you three- I like hi. Hello. <laughs> Let's elite speak for hey. Three dollars a month, a forty percent discount. Maybe the offers a more sustainable and honestly more fun way to make and share these videos. So sincerely, thank you. All right, let's uh, read some comments here. I love a high can make an answer for something as retooling a factory is too expensive into a five minute video. Oh, yeah, just add a bunch of like fancy slides and you're good. 
I live in Hawaii and I learned something new today. Cause I, I totally want to try Hawaiian Sun and Aloha, Aloha Made. And I want to I look Cory right now. The most substantial of topics being covered. Keep it up. Alright guys, that's our video. Thank you all for watching. Check out half is interesting in the description. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the support, man. Thank you for 4,000 subs, man. Just do all my reactions live on Twitch. So if you want to come through and say hi, you're more than welcome.